Hi, welcome everybody. Merlin Dean here with SmartphoneNirvana.com. We're going to be doing a very popular photo app called PicStitch. It's a collage app. See here? You can take different photos and put them in different shapes all into one shot. You can download it on Facebook, Twitter, share it on Instagram. You can end up utilizing filters. And this is a great example here of what the different shapes are that you can choose from. But you got page after page of it. In fact, let me show you what they look like. I'm going to go to my photo collage here. See, I did this one of Elvis. And I'm going to go back here and show you some more that I did. Let's see. I got this one of John Lennon. And I got another one here of my boy. He had a production at school. So if it's a horizontal shot, then you want to make sure that you're going to pick a layout that has the horizontal cube already set up for you. If it's a vertical shot, make sure that you end up picking those, okay? Now this was taken on Instagram or actually edited on Instagram. This shot, I think I added filters and edited on Camera Plus. This one I probably did on Adobe Photoshop Express and I think I did this one on Instagram as well. The point I'm saying is that once you're done, you can even utilize photos that you've edited somewhere else, but if they're, they're ending up on your photo roll, your camera roll, then you're going to be fine. You can end up utilizing it for pick stitch. So let's do one right now. I'm going to do one live so you know what it's like. Pick stitch, I think it was free when I got it, but if it's 99 cents, then that's fine too. 99 cents, it's well worth this app. All right, now if you look here, you can see all the different page after page after page of different layouts. When I see something like this, I think of a business opportunity. You know, you may have text nightclub events or something that you want to put in here for the whole week or something of that nature. Just get throwing out ideas out there, okay? And then along the bottom, I'm going to show you what that's going to be all about in terms of editing. But for Facebook purposes, I usually like to just use the four square and put four photos in one. That way, when people see it, they can make comments on all four at one time. Now that I've got the layout, you just end up double tapping whichever square you want to start with. And it's going to bring up your choices of where you're going to get the photo. So we're going to go to the photo album. I've already got one set up here. So let's do one here with dogs. All right, let's get one. Uh, let's start off with this cute shot of this dog right there. Okay, great. Now, when you see the bottom, after you bring up the photo, you got enhance effects. Stickers is just like putting a little, you can put a little lipstick shot there. It's pretty cute. I'll show you what that looks like real quick. See here. You can install it. There's a 99 cent charge for that. So you may or may not want that. If you don't, you just go back to editor. Down here on the bottom left, enhance. That's just your basic filters there, depending on what type of day it was when you shot it. Editor, back to effects. So I'm going to show you the effects. If you see money signs, that means it's like 99 cents extra to buy them. This one over here is free. Tap on free. And just like Instagram, you have different filters that you can utilize that changes the color of the photograph. So you can see if you don't like it black and white, you can change it into different effects. Sepia tone, you can add hues, play around with it in different ways. Okay, So you get the idea. Up here we have a nice filter going on with the frame. Soft focus. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it in its original form. If you like what you see, hit apply on the upper right. Just tap that and hit done. Let me make sure that this focus is in there. Hit done and the photo shows up in the square but it's still not done. You can put your finger in there and crop it. See how it moves around? So I want to lift it up. Make sure you can see that beautiful little puppy in there. Let's go to the next square now. Double tap. One, two. Go to your photo album. Brings it back up. All right, now let's get a funny shot here of this other dog. This is my Monday face. All right, I don't want to do anything to that, so I'm just going to hit Done, and there it shows up. So if I don't want that text in there, I can just crop it out, just lift it up like that. Now let's go to the next one. One, two. You're getting the idea here how easy this is. This is so easy. Now I don't like the way they're facing to the left, so I'm going to go back, cancel that, and double tap again because I like my subjects to be looking into the picture unless I have no choice. I've got a couple paws give it a high five there so let's utilize that one. Uh, I'm gonna hit done. I like it the way it is. Do I want to lift it up or down? No. I'll leave it like that. 
Double tap the next square, back to the photo album. Now I'm gonna pick that other shot that looks into the frame. That one right there, hit done. And then you can see here it would definitely benefit. You just go up a little bit. And there we go. Now, if you like what you see on all four shots here, then along the bottom on the last icon, you're gonna see export, tap export. Now look at all the new choices that you have. You can put right onto Facebook, email it to yourself where you can print it out on your printer when you get home. You can go right to Instagram and some other choices here. But what I just do is go to photo album because photo album will save it so you can put it anywhere you want later. A lot of times I'll show commercials here so you can just exit out. The image goes right to your photo album. So let's go to the photo album. Tap to go to the first page real fast. Hit photos. Go back to the camera roll. And on the camera roll, there it is. Ready for you to put on your Facebook page or wherever you want to put it. Thank you so much for watching my video. It has been Pick Stitch. And if you want to learn everything about the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4S, check out my website at smartphonenirvana.com. Thank you very much. Have a great day.